Guys, if you've ever felt like your brain just can't keep up with everything you read, listen to, or even think this one's for you, we're talking about Recall. It's not a note-taking app. It's not just a summary tool. It's your personal AI knowledge base. A memory-enhancing, idea-connecting kind of brain. I'm Daniel, and today I'm walking you through exactly how Recall works. I'll show you how it saves me a ton of time, and how it's quietly become my favorite way to keep track of everything. From research and YouTube videos, to podcasts, PDFs, and even TikToks, Recall handles it all. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. So let's get into it. Now, my friends, at its core, Recall is a self-organizing, AI-powered knowledge base. Think of it like your personal archive. That's not just a place to store ideas, but a space where they actually grow. You drop in a video, a document, or even a random thought, and Recall doesn't just hold it, it summarizes it, tags it, and connects it. Then it lets you chat with it. Yeah, guys, like actually chat with your own saved stuff. And guys, this new feature, chat with your knowledge base, it's kind of next level. We'll get into that in just a second. Let me show you how this works in real time, folks. So here I am inside the Recall web app. The first thing I'll do is install the browser extension. That's where the magic happens. Now, guys, say I'm watching a long YouTube interview, maybe something like an iPhone 16 review. I click the extension and just like that, it pulls in a full summary. Not just a couple bullet points, but structured highlights, chapters with timestamps, and even key quotes. I can save it instantly to my knowledge base with just one click. And from there, folks, I have full control. You can also switch between a detailed or concise summary in the chat tab, so Recall fits whatever time you've got. The app also automatically tags the content for me, usually with broad categories like technology. That might sound simple, guys, but honestly, it's enough to keep things findable without having to mess with folders or manual organization. And if I want to go further, I can always add custom tags or notes, like iPhone 16, camera review, or whatever helps me track what matters to me. I can also add a quick note to capture my own thoughts, maybe something like, mention this in my script outline. And my friends, I don't have to worry about folders or where to put things. Recall organizes everything for me. It pulls keywords from the content and keeps my knowledge base structured without the hassle. Everything syncs across web and mobile, so it's always there, whether I'm at my desk or on the go. Here's a video I saved earlier. You'll see the summary right here. It's clear, time-stamped, and focused on the key takeaways. I can click any point and jump straight to that part of the episode. And the best part, folks, is that I can ask follow-up questions right inside the app without opening anything else. Let's say I want to know, what is the main drawback of the iPhone 16? I just open the chat tab, type it in, and Recall pulls the answer directly from the source I saved. Now, my friends, here's where it gets really interesting. This new Chat with Knowledge Base feature just dropped. It lets you talk to your entire library. Not just one article at a time, but across everything you've ever saved. So if you're doing something like a comparative analysis, let's say you want to know the difference between iPhone 14 and iPhone 16. You guys can ask Recall to compare all the main features. How does the iPhone 16 compare to the iPhone 14 Pro in terms of battery life and screen brightness? Boom, it answers based on your curated sources. Not the internet, yours. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. All right, so here I'm on The Verge, reading their deep dive on the iPhone 16. You'll notice something really interesting right away. Certain words are highlighted. iPhone. iOS. These are terms I've come across before. And folks, because I've already saved other reviews, keynotes, and even comparison videos in Recall, it recognizes them and makes the connection instantly. Let me hover over iPhone. See this little pop-up? That's the app pulling up my related notes and saved sources in real time. I can see summaries I created earlier. If I click it, it jumps straight to that card in Recall. I don't even need to leave the article. Now, guys, this feature is called Augmented Browsing. It runs locally in your browser, so everything stays private, and it's always working in the background, connecting new things you discover to what you've already saved. It's subtle, but incredibly powerful. You're no longer just reading an article, folks. You're building on what you already know. One quick note, if you want to use Augmented Browsing, make sure it's turned on in your browser extension settings. Just click the extension icon, go to Settings, and toggle it on. 
You can view all that visually connected info with Recall's graph. It shows you how everything ties together. It's like a neural map of your brain, guys. Kind of beautiful in a chaotic way. And for students out there, you'll love this. There's a built-in quiz tool. Every card you save can generate questions automatically. Flashcards, space repetition, the whole memory boosting toolkit. So folks, whether you're prepping for finals or just trying to remember that productivity podcast from two weeks ago, this feature is gold. So to recap, my friends, Recall is way more than a place to store your notes. It's where your information becomes knowledge and where your knowledge becomes insight. Whether you're researching something new or just trying to stay organized, Recall's got you covered. It helps you remember what matters, whether it's a recipe, a workout plan, or even your next thesis. The goal is to make your mind feel limitless. And guys, if you want to try it for yourself, just head to get recall.ai. I'll drop the link and the discount code in the description. Make sure you're using the browser extension. It's really where the magic happens. Thanks for watching and see you next time.